So today guys, I'm going to be doing a whole leveling guide in Demon Slayer Legacy, giving you guys all the tips and tricks, everything you need to know guys to make this game the easiest experience possible. I'm going to be telling you my tricks, how I got to a high level extremely fast, how to get basically any breathing you want, and how to spin your nitrin, how to do full concentration breathing, basically all the good stuff. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first of all guys, you're going to have to do the storyline missions. Storyline missions are pretty easy. The only thing you need to know is the boulder mission. The boulder mission, when you have to defeat the boulder for Urakadaki, you have to to be at least level 100 and you might be asking how do i get to level 100 it's pretty simple really but the first level so first is level 0 to level 500 you have to just be doing these side quests right here these side quests the best thing about this game these side quests don't actually just stay the same xp the more you do it the more you level up the more you xp you get from these side quests that makes it easier so if i talk to him for example here he will let me talk to him he'll tell me to go to the next guy because yeah and sorry talk to a demon slayer he doesn't need my service because i'm too strong so from level 0 to level 500 you want to form these side quests of course do this do the storyline it's an amazing storyline and cut scenes it's so beautiful so it's really really good now let's talk about breathings and clans and stuff like that this is what i'm rocking right now i'm rocking the love breathing right now but i'm immensely a mist user i'm gonna be switching to mist very soon it's mist book and also i'm rocking the meteor clan and camado i'm rocking camado clan because it gives me two times boost for my moves for my clan moves talking to all just because i have mist breathing and it doubles my mist damage moves okay so you might be asking so you so guys so make sure you get the clan one of the clans one has to be camado to be the most overpowered is one camado and any clan that's colorful responding with your breathing for example if you're using sound which i did not recommend make sure you check out my tier list for breathing and tier list for clans uh i do not recommend you using sound because sound only has two moves so do not just leave sound so yeah for love uh, kind of roji for miss totico uh so yeah th that's what i mean so i could sue her for thunder but i would not recommend going for thunder it is the most one of the most broken breathers in this game check my tier list once again to find out what's the best breathers in the game and the best clans uh, i could sue is really broken when you have thunder because thunder is really broken but thunder is really hard to get so that's basically everything from level Level 0 to 500, level 0 to 500, spam side quests, and yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys where to get a Nichiren. So you hear start at the start. So the, so at the quests, when you do the Urukadaki quest, it will take to spin for a Nichiren. You have to go to the Butterfly Mansion. The Butterfly Mansion is pretty simple. You're just going to go through here. So when you go through here, guys, you want to just keep going down. I'm not going to cut any of this out so you know where I'm going. You want to take a right from here. Or you can just go straight, doesn't really matter. But you want to take a right from here. And you want to go straight from here. Final selection, I can't get into final selection, but it's really, really simple. Uh, you can basically do it at level 150, level 200 super super easily soloing it super easy but yeah for now i say before doing any of any of that stuff of course there's still animations but i say just grind that side quest to like your level 300 and everything else with story animations shall be extremely easy but you want to go up here or you can go around it doesn't really matter but i'm just gonna jump up if we go around you have to go through this way and this is the person okay so here i'm gonna be talking about all concentration breathing and nature and spinning here guys, total concentration breathing is right here. I mean, though this is the spinning, right? So this is how you spin. If you talk to him, blah blah blah, except you just spin. I don't have to, to spin, so yeah, I won't get anything. But you can get basically any other nitrogen. This is one of two ways to get any nitrogen. The other way is to fight bosses. We'll talk about bosses in just a bit. You go to of course uh, weapons and of course as you can see you can collect um boss moves. For example, I do have unlocked the Sunday Nitrogen one, but where is it? I don't know where it is, but I can unlock it if I wanted to. There we go, that one. I can unlock it because I've killed the Sunday Nitrogen boss, so that's one way to do it. So now let's Let's talk about total concentration breathing guys you have to do okay so for this first quest guys uh this is not the first quest this is the first quest i'm showing you so this is the first quest you have to get these gods so you have to do this quest 250 times so you have to do this so you get a god blah 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 you get it talk to him as you can see i'm already at max so yeah you get i've already done it so i can't really do it so you have to do 250 uh gods the next stage guys is uh this butterfly one here right here is canal you talk to canal and uh yeah 35 successful attempts you have to do i'm pretty sure a couple so you just do this basically it's not really that hard i would say it's completely simple just keep doing this and yeah you should be uh pretty pretty decent with this it's not hard it is a bit time consuming you do need to get 90 so i don't even have it maxed out but i don't need it because i do have the miss pattern a miss pattern is another broken thing so i'm gonna be showing you guys what the miss pattern actually does so now i'm gonna be talking about all bosses and boss drops and stuff like that so there's only a couple bosses in the game so far of what i can remember there's inosuke mitsuri tengen zenetsu shinobu and michiro and obanai so all those bosses will spawn at different times different locations well except inosuke which i'm pretty sure spawns at except he spawns at a place i don't know where inosuke spawns I, like literally i've never done inosuke so yeah i don't know where he spawns but everyone else spawns right here nakatsumu mansion training for us you just join and if you join the server at the correct time i'll leave the channel in the link in the description down below so you guys know what times bosses will spawn so you just press a join but you should, make sure you serve a hop if when you serve hop the only way to know if bosses are have spawned in or not is if it says it here like at the top right here now so basically that's all for level one to level five and that's all you need to know uh 
pretty sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, actually, you do need to know one more thing. One more thing. So that's why I do recommend you guys go through the whole video because this is not really in order. I'm just telling you guys everything you need to know in this game as of today. But another place you need to go is from Butterfly Mansion or the start. So Butterfly Mansion from the start, you have to go around here and you go straight down there. Instead of going straight to Butterfly Mansion, you want to go straight on the right. You want to hold the next to the right and you want to go down. When you go down, guys, you'll see like a like a bit of like people. Are like, I don't even know what's that, but you just want to keep going down here. Oh, I actually took the wrong turn, okay. Okay, so you're there, that's where the starting place is, that's where final selection is. You wanna come down here, Buffalo Mansion is up there, you wanna take a right from here and you wanna go straight down. So when you're straight down, you'll be right here, and then uh, it's like a, like a corner. You can go straight down to go to a different place, but I'll tell you that guys, after you don't have to worry about that right now, it's not really important. You wanna go straight down here. This is really important guys, this is actually one of the most important things in this game. This is now how to get books. I'm telling you guys how to get books and how to get breathings. So the old, okay, so the breathing system in this game is really, really weird. So that is this is what happens in the breathing system so basically you have to spin the breathing first of all in the menu which you go and spins and you spin it's not really that hard and then you have to get the corresponding book or you can't learn more than one move so to get the corresponding book you have to come to the merchant here this is the merchant 300 i'm, I'm gonna do it because i want to do it okay i got a love book so uh, i can either press on it uh what do you want to do with the love style uh decline nothing as of yet talk to him and store the love book so as you can see i have a pretty decent amount of books here so that's how you do that's how you get a random book it's a random book and it depends on your level too guys so it depends on your level but now if you go back to the starting area guys which is i'm pretty sure everyone knows where it is the place you spawn so you have to just come over here to the place you spawn there's also basically it's like a blocks fruit type of like thing so basically it's the exact same as blocks fruits they have a stock system or like a like a basically someone who gives you stuff so yeah basically everything's gonna be out of stock you have to be really quick especially from the book extremely rare the rare the rarest thing in the game right now the best thing about this game most breathings are usable so one thing i do actually want to adjust guys before we move on from level 500 to level 900 it's a big jump i want to say you need to correspond your breathing with your clans and your nutrients and stuff like that so the maximum damage input is what i have on right now so basically well it can work with any breathing like thunder mist or love check out my tier list to find out which are the best breathings like i said again so for example i got a mist nitron right here this is the mist nitron uh this gives me so for the nitron it gives me two times uh well it gives me 1.5 times damage so nitro gives me 1.5 times 1.5 times damage to my breathing uh my clan which talk it gives me uh 33 so this gives me basically 1.3 percent extra my my sword gives me 1.5 and then the thunder breathing itself or like my mist breathing gives me like one percent damage so all of all of it adds up to two percent more damage so yeah that is how you get the maximum amount of damage in this game other key important thing guys if you look at my breathing here for example let's go to mist breathing which is right here there's also moves that are like counter skills there's also moves that are like a block of follow-up skills let me show you block of follow-up skills if you block it you can use it and there's more damage or you got just like a straight card break this is like the best move in the game so far which is like the off command for miss breathing that's why i think miss breathing is the best breathing in this game all right now we're going to move on to the next set of quests after you should be doing well first of all you have to do complete the storyline so quest okay let me just talk to you guys quickly what are all the quests uh so i'm going to put it on screen right now as we talk about it Ah, right, here's the quest one, guys. So you start as a villager in your town. You start by killing five pigs. Then you actually kill five slimes. These are all pretty easy quests. Then you have to cut down trees. Easy. The butcher asks. This is all not really important. So far, these are all easy. Uh, then now you go to bed. Quest six. Okay, this is important. Quest eight. You leave the village. When you come to a fork in the road, you go to a left, as you want to be a demon slayer. The right side feels dangerous, as if he dies. So you don't go that way. If you go that way, you become a demon. Okay, read demon storyline. But yeah, that is basically the starting like storyline there's a lot more like quests and stuff but that's like the start so you can pick like quest 8 you can pick whether to be a demon or a slayer i do recommend slayers demons are not really that powerful but yeah so that's basically everything we can talk about so far now we just need to move on to the next set of quests so after you do talk to the quest uh the random side quest givers you need to go talk to a different people okay so after f so guys from 500 to level 800 you need to go talk to a slayer so to get to the slayer you basically come from here from the starting missions these are the slimes you have to kill by the way they're super easy to kill so weak but you want to go from this side also guys i am doing the slayer storyline with like slayer guide i will be making a demon guide very soon so stay tuned for that if you want to go the demon route i do recommend going for the slayer route but yeah as you can see you go right from here so you basically go into the marketplace where you get the merchant or you get random books but instead of going straight down instead of going to the right you want to go straight down that way so yeah you just keep going straight down 
down it's a pretty far place so i do recommend you set your set your spawn when you get there of course but you just want to keep going down this is another quest i have to do for storyline missions but yeah storyline missions are super easy just follow this red uh this blue arrow above my head it shows you where all the storyline missions are but this is how to level up and my tips and tricks and stuff like that but you want to take a right from here and you want to go straight down as soon as you get to here guys you want to just keep just following the path it's super simple and super easy and this like probably the biggest stage of the game so far it's like when you're leveling up to level 500 level 800 which is a big jump but uh yeah so just when you get when you start like seeing how powerful you become you start unlocking breathing super easily money racks up and stuff like that so yeah you'll be like you become rich in this game but here's the spawn set guys you want to take your spawn right here and you want to go all the way down here this is a demon cowboy this is how you become an immortal uh, this is not really important for now uh if you want to find out more about that stuff make sure you check out my demon slayer you should check out my demon guy that we're making very soon but here's the quest, side quest you talk to him the problem with the side quest sometimes so yeah sometimes it's spawning inside the fit just follow the path guys this is super simple just follow go down this is akiza kokushibo uh this is all demon stuff by the way to you i'll be showcasing demon stuff later on but as you can see you can just go all the way straight down just follow the path just like caves inside here and you go kill swamp demons and stuff like that also the demons that you do kill change guys so for example uh when you get to level 100 the person you're fighting actually changes so the mob you actually fighting changes but that's basically it from level 500 to level 800 guys but now guys now it's where it gets like really really like end game so now you want to go to the tanjiro quest tanjiro quests are pretty difficult i can't lie for me of course it's not because i'm basically max level but if we jump up here and then you want to jump up here if you can make that jump there we go we make that jump you should be able to make that jump because you'll be a very high level then you'll see of course here's the quicker way to get to the merchant guy who gives you free books stuff like that instead you want to jump over there so you want to jump over here there's like a quicker way to get there there's a, a lot of sh there's a longer way but i don't like doing the longer way so you just jump up there and you should be able to see like a mansion very soon there we go that's the mansion so you go to that mansion and you want to go inside of it it's also where you can do the story mode missions so there's like a lot of story mode missions and stuff like that but we're needing the end game of the game right now as you can see you're right here we'll take to tanjiro and he'll tell you like oh go kill Okay, no go kill uh these guys here and stuff like that you want to kill six eight of them which are not read that they actually are difficult i can't lie so yeah that is then that's from level so guys the slayer quest i showed you before in the caves is from level 800 so 500 to 800 the tanjiro quest from 800 plus and then when you get to 900 you want to go do another quest which is the zanetsu quest zanetsu quest is really really difficult so it's from 900 to basically max level those are like the final quest in the game which is the next quest of course you can do story mode missions which give you like more xp i presume but i don't know so i just follow the side quest route because it's the best one also guys if you do click l you can also do like track main missions so like mission c i'm like about to finish here but you can also do demon story and i haven't even started it and stuff like that but guys you want to go back to the mansion and then from the mansion so as soon as you get back to the mansion guys so we're going to the same way the mansion is when i go to the same way right there that's the mansion right there you want to just go on to the straight path here from the mansion and you'll see like a big spider uh you want to just ignore it you can't kill it if you're i'm pretty sure you can't kill this one. Oh, you can't kill this one okay the, the model is actually really clean but it's super super difficult to kill like extremely difficult like i'm gonna have to use like my curse mark or my slayer mark to actually kill this like super quickly boom 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 slayer mark is actually really important the mist pattern is super broken guys you need to try get one but also my ultimate is one of the reasons why it's so broken but you want to go up so you want to go up here and then you want to see, see more slayers if you see more spider demons then you, you know you're going to the right place and as soon as you get past here you'll find a little zanetsu crying right here and you want to talk to him man you just want to accept the quest and this is uh, a quest that you can do but yeah you can do this quest you can get them like probably the most xp in the game right now and as you can see if i do press accept to tell me that i'm doing the least amount of xp so if i click confirm it'll actually direct me to a different quest but that quest is actually literally the exact same thing so defeat six spiders demons so it's a bit, a bit bugged as you can see if i just kill this guy here i'll show you guys if i kill him right now it'll actually still count so this is the final breathing or well, the final level up method as you can see so yeah this is the final quest you should be doing from 900 to max to 1200 but yeah guys those are all my tips and tricks i'm pretty sure i've not missed anything oh actually before i end this video i just remembered something uh, there's also something called instructors in this game but they're super uh, hard to get so for example there's gonna be like a, you can find like a random meteoro in the map or like a random zanetsu just in the map somewhere ma mainly behind the butterfly mansion but they'll just be standing there and if you talk to them you do get the corresponding instructors book so for example if it's you find meteoro you get a miss book but those are really extremely rare to find no, no one actually uses them everyone uses the random book method they create new accounts they use codes they get like a bit of yen and they just spin over and over again because the leveling thing 
is uh the random book thing depends on your level that's how much money you can be spending and money's 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 really hard to actually get in this game so yeah before i end my video i'm going to tell you my tip and trick to actually get a lot of money so one of my tips and tricks is either to farm the slayer quest that slayer quest gives probably the most money or you want to farm the tangible quest do not farm this net but a quest you want to do a quest that you can do super quickly i do farm me myself i do farm the tangible quest you might be asking why it's harder than the slayer quest for one reason is because it's they're all so close to each other so you can literally do about one quest in this you can do two quests in the span it takes you to do one quest in this in that quest in the slayer quest because it takes so long to find them around the map but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash like subscribe button if you enjoyed and let me know that this guide actually helped you out guys i believe this is one of the, like the best guides because i've actually played this game and i've done everything in this game but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it make sure you smash like subscribe button and i'll catch you all next time peace out